Hi, welcome to today's session of food and beverage service. So in today's session, today we are going to have a look about the types of services which are being practiced in the hotel industry in the food and beverage sector. So the five customer process which happens in the food and beverage service in the types of services, service to the customer at a late cover, combination of table and services, self-service of customers, service at single point, consumed on premises or taken away, service to customers in areas not designed for service. So this is about to tell about the where the types of services, where the services can happen, where the guest has to serve himself uh, himself also. There are even certain places where self-service is also taking place, such as buffets, cafeterias, institution cafeterias, where the point of contact with the hotel staff or whomsoever is in their appointment in the designated area is there is no point of contact with them. The customer or the guest can choose his guest, uh, his food from the layout of food dishes which has been served and replaced in the buffet counters. Next is introduction. So today, the introduction for this is there are many types and ways in which the food and beverage are served to customers in the catering industry. The style of service is depending upon the type of establishment as cafeteria, cafe, fine dining restaurants, and fast food joints. This In this, there are many places where the food is being served, where there are uh, different types of services. So now if we... For instance, if we say in fast food, we have seen fast foods where the food is being prepared straight in front of us and just being served to us. Whereas in cafeterias, the food is being prepared and pre-placed in a straight variety on a on a table or on a chef and dish, where the guests can have a look look and choose his food. Whereas in cafe, there will be a menu pre-placed on a large white screen where the guests can take his choice and food. Whereas in fine dining restaurants, it is like it is an a la carte. A menu card will be given to your hand. The guest can choose his food and have his meal for the day. Next is types of service which are broadly classified. The services is broadly classified as table service. So for table service, service to customer at a late cover. So this is where the fine dining comes in. So if you have been to a restaurant, we can see that the cutlery, the crockery, and the glass is, is being placed straight in front of the chair where you have you will be allowed to be seated. There, the waiter or the person who is serving the food will come directly and take his order, and the food will be served in front of you. Assisted service. This is a combination of table and self service. So this is also right where the table service happens. And the other one is the self-service is like we behind the buffet we have the uh, and the FNB people or the food and beverage people there to assist you in serving the food. Okay, here a waiter will be taking care of each table in the table service, but in assisted service he will be handling four different varieties of food, which he will be assisting the guest if there is any confusion if the guest does has any allergic to anything, if he has a doubt, he can ask, he or she can ask the people behind the counter whether these uh, uh, ingredients are being added to the food. So he can assist the guests. That's why it is mentioned as assisted service. In self-service, self-service is nothing but the buffet, the cafeteria, where we, we have take the plate and the cutlery which is required for us, go to the food, we have a look. We choose our food which we would like to prefer to have for the day. Single point service. Single point services is the consumed in the premises or takeaways. So nowadays we have cloud kitchens. We have restaurants who have the takeaway places outside the restaurant where nowadays the delivery uh, boys or delivery apps where we order these people go to the takeaway point and just you know, take the food and it is delivered or where we go take the food and we just leave the place we don't have a position to sit in the restaurant we just go there there is a place for takeaway separate counter we go there and take it specialized and in institute 
the service of customer A is not designed for the service. So in specialized is, is like it's very well trained people only will be serving the guest over here. This is totally different from all the other services which we have looked in this place over here. Table services. So the different types of table services are classified into English service, silver service, American or plate service, French service, Russian service, and Garidon service. So now we will be having a look into all these types of services. So let's start with the English service. Often referred to as host service where the host plays a dominant role in the service. The server presents the dish brought from the kitchen to the host for the uproll and places on the table. The host then calls for each guest plate portions the food in onto the plate. Sometimes the host portions the food and then allows the server to serve the food. Waiter keeps the dish in the sideboard for at the round of replenishment. English service, if you have been to a five-star hotel, there we can see for the breakfast. This English service usually happens for breakfast and lunch and in few places for dinner also. So the English service is like there will be a live counter, there will be assisted service and there will be a table service. So these three happens over there. So in the live counter, it is like the guest goes to the chef or the live counter. He says what kind of food he would like. Now, let's say he wants a masala omelette. So the guest writes, it tells that he doesn't want chili and onions in it, but other rest of the vegetables can be added to it. So the chef behind the counter makes a note of it and he prepares that same and the waiter goes and gives to the table where the guest is being seated. One is the live counter. Second one is the assisted service. The guest tells the uh, waiter that he would like to have these kind of food. Instead of the guest or the host, go and tell to the chef about his order. The waiter tells about the guest order and he makes sure that the preferred thing is being prepared by the chef and being placed, given to the guest. So. In this, the uh, waiter's responsibility is he makes sure that the guest uh, need is being fulfilled. And for the table service, we have the a la carte menu, which will be placed on the table. The guest tells his menu and the same as table service, as we know in the fine dining, what happens? The savings being carried out in this English service. So in English service, live counter, assisted service and table service. These three services will fall in English service. Next is a French service. French service, table service. In, in French service, the table service is done and then then assisted service is only available. So let's have a look in the French service. This is very personalized service that, oh, which means a single waiter takes care of the single table. The food is brought in dishes and server and placed on the table at the center. So for instance, let's take an example of a restaurant here in Chennai or it is. Let's take an example of the Zaitun restaurant. There we order the food. The waiter comes and places the food on the table. Whatever it is, whatever the food it may be, the food will be placed on the table on a plate or server or whatever the equipment we use in the FNB department. I hope we all get the, are on the same track. The guest, the guest helps themselves naturally. This is the fall gathering for dinners. So this is the service which is being provided only for a small gathering, like I like to say eight to nine people, where uh, eight to nine people where the uh, food is being placed on the table so that they can take care of the of their serving. The guests can take care of their serving. In large groups, the guests participating in the dining experience by passing around the dishes with each other. That is the guest. It's a very large number of people. We no need to serve the guests. The guest takes care of themselves. So if they take the food they need, they pass it to their colleague, friends, or relative, or family, whosoever they are. They may be. Sometimes the guests may serve another guest seated far from the dish. That's it. 
So in French service, none of the waiters need to do the service. It is for a small gathering of people, like eight to ten people. They serve, they help each other with the with the serving of food and sharing of the food. Silver service. So in silver service, silver service is nothing but the cutlery, crockery, plate, glassware, or whatever it is being used for the service. It will be silver. No ceramic, no hard plastic, nothing will be used. Only silver equipments will be used for the silver service. Please make sure that silver service means silver equipments. The color resembles the service. This service is given the name as all the cutlery service spoons folk are made of silver. As I said, everything will be in silver. That is mentioned in the first point. The table is set for all those soup, main course, and dinners. The food is portioned in the kitchen into silver plates and dishes and brought to the house for approval. It is then placed on the sideboard with heating burner and keep the food warm. The food is taken to each guest and served onto the guest plate from the left of the guest with the service spoon and fork. So here it says clearly everything that everything will be pre-plated from the kitchen in silver equipments. Nothing is ceramic or glass vessel. Everything is silver. This will be served to the guest from the left side. Please make a note that any service done to the guest should be done from the left side of the guest. And any pre-plated service, like let it be a dessert, a dessert will become on the plate so we just need to place the plate to the guest so that will be done for the right side pre-plated service to the right of the guest is serving to the left of the guest i hope these things have been clear and we are not getting confused american service also termed as a plated service this method ensures quick service and clearance in this style of service dishes are neatly plated in the kitchen in the kitchen by the kitchen staff and portion in predetermined manner. The plated food is brought by the server and placed before the guest at the table. This is served from the right of the guest. As I told in the previous uh, slide for silver service, serving the guest is being done from the left of the guest and the pre-plated food is being served from the right of the guest. As we see in the American service, everything is pre-plated nothing will be done as a service. So, for instance, we can take out a fine dining restaurant. Here, in every fine dining restaurant, the food will be pre-plated. No service will be done to the guest. Everything is being pre-plated. And it will be served from the right side of the guest. And it will be portioned equally for every guest. No more food, no less food. Next is the Russian service. This is the elaborate presentation of food, like a whole sucking pig, peacock decorated with feathers, etc. This is also known as platter service, as food comes in well decorated silver platter. The server presents the food to the guest, takes it to a side station, and portions the food in a full view of the guest. The server decides the portions served and proceeds to serve the guest in russian service the food will be in a large portion say let it be for six to seven people so it will be in a very big silver platter this will be first shown to the guest that this is the food which we have been ordered so shall i serve it after the guest approval the food is being taken to the side board which is be visible for the guest Every sideboard should be visible to the guest so the guest can have a look at his food, what the waiter has done. Nothing behind the guest to be done. So in Russian service, this platter will go behind the sideboard. Then the waiter decides the portion of each guest, how much should be served to every guest. Okay. Next is the carried on service. Carried on service is nothing but 50% of the cooking will be done in the kitchen and the rest of the 50% cooking will be done in front of the guest. This service is 
very few in this Indian country. The service is mostly followed in American and European countries, where the there is a guided on trolley. In the guided on trolley, there will be a small range or stop to just prepare the food and serve it to the guest. In this service, the guest himself can decide how much his food should be cooked. Let it be medium rare, let it be fully cooked, let it be rare medium. The guest can see how the cook is if food is being prepared by the server. For this service, well-trained professional waiters only will be allowed to serve. This most often, as I said, will be seen only in European and American countries. It is not at all available in Indian, Indian countries. So this service is where the food comes partially prepared from the kitchen to be completed at the guest table site on the Geridon trolley fitted with gas burner. As I said, the trolley consists of a range with a gas burner where the food will be cooked in front of the guest, where the rest of the 15, 50% of the food, 50% is already cooked inside the kitchen. The rest 50% will be cooked in front of the guest. And this trolley, also known as the trolley service, this Geridon service is also known as trolley service. The server prepares the food behind the table in view of the guest. As I said, the food is being prepared in front of the guest. The food is pre-plated and served to the guest from the right. So this is also a pre-plated service. The food is being plated on the trolley itself and then served from the right. Assisted service. As we said, assisted service. This is a combination of table and self-service. It is used extensively in hotels and restaurants. Service staffs assist customers in service of water, accompanying vegetables, sauces, sweets, and so on. An example of this service is carvery and buffet. Carvery, table service, buffet. As I said in the beginning, buffet. In, on the buffet counter, we have a waiter who takes care of four foods or four dishes, how much ever the count may be, and assists the guest in selection of food. Self-service, as we all do in marriage functions, birthday parties, cafeterias, institutional cafeterias, where we have the, uh, the liability or the right to choose the food. So this is the simplest form of service methods where members of service staff do not serve guests, which means the waiters don't serve the guest. The guest or the employee can choose his food. Customers help themselves with the dishes they would like to consume. The service is classified into cafeteries, counter, free flow, echelon. Free flow is nothing but the queue which is being followed. Counter, different counters for each section as we have the tandoor counter, the Indian bread counter, the non-vegetarian counter, the veg counters, and so and so. So the last one, we have come to the last point, single point service. In this style of service, food and beverage are served from single point. This may be consumed on premises or takeaway. As I said, this is a takeaway service where the food can be taken by the customers. I hope everything is clear. The takeaway point is known as the single point service. This includes takeaway, vending machines, kiosk, food court, and bar. These are all single point. In takeaway, the customer orders the food and it is being served from a single point at the counter, hatch, or a snack stand. Vending machines, as we've been seeing in the airports and in the foreign countries, where there is a machine in, uh, where we can just insert the amount or the price of the food and click a button, your food will be dispensed through the machine. That is not the vending food machine. Like it is mostly done in airports, if you wear, you will have the sandwiches and the soft drinks, but in the European and the foreign countries, you have nachos, chips, and what, and etc. and all. Kiosk, outstation to provide service for peak demand and the specific location. Outstation to provide service for peak demand, that is the cloud kitchen. 
cloud kitchen has nothing but it is not a restaurant this has only the kitchen it will be this kitchen prepares the food and gives it to the guest as a take away food court as we all know food court is available in malls airports bus stations railway stations where different varieties of restaurants like fast food chain fine dining uh, biryani shops juice shops everybody there these are all one point single point service if there is a common place for all the guests to have their seat they can choose which from which restaurant or which food outlet they would prefer to have the food bars and in the bar this is also the bar is we have bars in the airports that is also a single point service where the guest can i mean whether whether guest or customer just can before the by while waiting for the flight they can just have a drink or cocktail at the bars itself so these are all different kinds of services which we have seen today so just let's go back to as a revision for the different types of service so in english service english service is nothing but in which self service assisted service and live counters take place the guest has right to choose his food talk to the tell the chef who is preparing the food that he would like so and so food to be taken and uh, he can also uh, tell the waiter who is in the live uh, kitchen to prepare the food which he likes assisted service the person who stands behind the banquet the banquet uh, banquet in the buffet counter to say assist the guest with the food choice and explain to the guest what all uh, food can be provided to the guest and in a french service french service is nothing having uh, but a single point service a uh, single point service where the uh, food is being taken by the guest or in an assisted manner in russian service Russian service is nothing but a type of European service where uh, the food is being provided uh, to the guest or given to the guest according to his manner, uh, where the guest, the waiter has the right to portion the food for the guest. Silver service is nothing but, as I said, the term silver is nothing but everything in silver, from the serving of the food. till the guest guest cut the trophy is everything will be in silver gerdon service is also known as a trolley service in this the guest in this the guest can uh, see the food which is being prepared in this the uh, food is being 50% already prepared from the kitchen and the rest 50% will be prepared straight in front of the guest so the guest can see how the food is being prepared in american or plate service the in this in the service the food is being pre-plated by the guest uh, for the guest which will be served to him directly from the kitchen in a hot plate so the ways of uh, doing service serving the guest uh, means the waiter serving the guest should be done from the left side of the guest and any food which is being pre-plated should be done from the right side of the guest i hope this session was helpful and knowledgeable to all of you over here thank you